For Windows 10 TH2 installation media, Microsoft released three installation ISOs instead of five separate ISOs for each edition. Combining multiple editions into one ISO would have been a fantastic idea, especially if all five editions were combined into a single installation ISO. This would have eradicated the confusion between the Windows 10 Home Edition and the Windows 10 Home Single Language Edition, for instance. Unfortunately, Microsoft never bundled the Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Home Single Language Editions together. What they did instead was bundle Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro into an ISO they called Windows 10. And they bundled Windows 10 Home N and Windows 10 Pro N in an ISO they called Windows 10 N. So in actual fact, Microsoft took one step forward and two steps back. They bundled together editions that end users don't get confused with. And because the installation media will automatically input the product key from the UEFI BIOS. This means that those with a Windows 8 Home OEM license, those with a Windows 8.1 Home OEM license, and those with a Windows 8.1 with Bing Home OEM license will automatically install Windows 10 TH2 Home when using Windows 10 TH2 installation media. Those with a single language edition or those without a UEFI BIOS embedded product key of the correct edition will have the option of inputting a 25 digit product key during installation or alternatively selecting skip. If one selects skip then they can choose between Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro as shown here. I'm going to select Windows 10 Home and then select Next. And this takes me to the License Agreement screen, which is the screen you would see if you had a Windows 10 Home compatible UEFI BIOS embedded system locked pre-installation key. So the case in point that I'm wanting to make is that if you have a Windows 10 compatible UEFI BIOS embedded system locked pre-installation key and you want to install Windows 10 Pro you will be prevented from doing so as the installation media will automatically pick up the Windows 10 Home key and opt to install Windows 10 Home. So this is problematic for those who have taken digital entitlement to Windows 10 Pro by using the Windows 10,130 Insider Preview or those who have indeed decided to pay for a Windows 10 Pro product key and want to clean install. So what to do is right click the start button and select system. And now you want to check out the Windows edition. And you should notice that it says Windows 10 Home. And in your case, you should notice that it says Windows is activated. In my case, Windows isn't activated because I used a virtual machine. Therefore, no product key was automatically input in my virtual machine, so my device isn't activated, unsurprisingly. So in my case, to the bottom right, I'll select Activate Windows, and in your case, you'll need to select Change Product Key. And then on the screen, I get the option to activate Windows or Change Product Key. You should be told Windows is activated here and just have the options to change product key. So after selecting change product key, accept the user account control prompt and then we're going to input the generic Windows 10 Pro installation product key. This product key allows for installation or change of addition to Windows 10 Pro. It does not allow for product activation. So what's going to happen is the key will be accepted and then I can select Start Upgrade. Now this device had Windows 10130 Insider Preview installed. This Insider Preview was upgraded to Windows 10 Pro TH1. 
and by a process called digital entitlement, it became a Windows 10 Pro device. Then, for the case of this tutorial video, it was clean installed using Windows 10 TH2 installation media. And the incorrect edition, Windows 10 Home, was selected, so the product wasn't activated as shown. In order to get from Windows 10 Home TH2 to Windows 10 Pro TH2, a generic product key was input in the change your product key. This generic product key does not allow for product activation, but allows for installation and change of edition as shown in this case. So now, Windows updates are configuring and the computer will restart. The updates will continue after the virtual bias screen. And the features will be added. And we'll probably restart again. And then finally, we can log into the Windows 10 Pro TH2 desktop. As mentioned, this generic product key does not allow for Microsoft product activation. But because this virtual machine was made a Windows 10 Pro device using the 10,130 Insider Preview and the digital entitlement to get Windows 10 Pro, then the resubmitted hardware profile of the virtual machine, i.e. the Windows 10 Pro device, is recognized by the Microsoft Product Activation Server for Windows 10 Pro. And the green light is given for Microsoft Product Reactivation. So if I right click the button and select System, you'll notice now that I have Windows 10 Pro as the edition and Windows is activated. And now it's worthwhile just demonstrating what happens if I carry out the same procedure on a machine that isn't a Windows 10 Pro device. So I've made another virtual machine for this test. And in this virtual machine, I've just set the virtual hardware and then performed a direct clean install of Windows 10 TH2 Home. So if we right click the start button and select system, unsurprisingly, Windows 10 Home isn't activated. We're going to select activate Windows and then change product key. And now we're going to put in the exact same generic Windows 10 Pro installation product key that we input before. So you'll see that the product key is again accepted and I can select start upgrade. And then the upgrade should perform and the computer should restart twice in the exact same manner as before. The only difference is that this virtual machine was never made a Windows 10 Pro device. Therefore, the Microsoft Product Activation Server shouldn't recognize this virtual machine as a Windows 10 Pro device. This means that the machine will be given the red light for Microsoft Product Activation and the user will be instructed to input a Windows 10 Pro product key should they wish to activate Windows 10 Pro TH2. So finally, I'll be able to log into the Windows 10 Pro TH2 desktop. And what I'm going to do is again, right click the start button, select system and check the Microsoft product activation status. And as stated, you'll see that the edition is now Windows 10 Pro, and you'll see that Windows is not activated.